Hello. It's uh, fun to be live. I'm Jeffrey Smith. And Much better than the alternative. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, I'm here with a couple jokers. <laughs> I'm here with uh, two instructors from our photography class, as well as Christine Smith. And uh, we thought we'd tell you a little bit about what we do in our photography workshops. Uh, we're doing one <coughs> this coming summer here in Glacier Bay, and also another one in uh, the Tracy Arm Fords Terror area. So, um, have some introductions and then we'll uh, talk about what we're going to do. Okay, let's talk about John and Ellen. Um, I'm Christine, I'm Chef and Naturalist, and John and Ellen joined us last year for a trip in Glacier Bay, and we're here to talk about how much fun we had um, with that trip and then the trips coming up. Yeah, Ellen and I have uh, led photo workshops together in a variety of settings, and um, I think we I think it's safe to say that spending a week in Glacier Bay dialed in to photography and the unbelievable uh, surroundings aboard this amazing boat is the best possible way to have a photo workshop. Your background? Yeah, I've been taking photographs for much longer than I care to discuss. <laughs> um, I am uh, both a photographer and a writer. I uh, publish and edit Adventures Northwest magazine here in the Northwest. I've done that since 2012. Uh, kind of my life's work is about helping people connect or, or rediscover connections to the natural world. I think that uh, this is the uh, remedy for much of what ails us. And the opportunity to do that using a medium like photography is so powerful. And then the opportunity to do that in a place like Glacier Bay, which is inspiring, whether you're thinking of photography or not, just doubles the power of it. So very excited to be back this year. I'm Al. Um, I've been making photographs for slightly longer than forever as well. <laughs> um, I often describe myself as a recovering commercial photographer. Um, I no longer, I used to, this is how far back I go. I used to have a darkroom rental business back 173 years ago. Uh, I have a hitching <laughs> post out front. Yeah. I had a hitching post out front. That's exactly right. Um, I used to do commercial photography. I don't do that anymore. Now my photography is all my own artwork. Um, and a lot like John, it's about making connections um, to the natural world. Um, I do other things as well in photography, but uh, landscape photography is a big part of that. Um, I've also been teaching photography since, uh, there's another one I don't want to think about how long, <laughs> since the 80s at least. Um, I've taught at universities. I currently teach, teach at uh, the local community college. Um, and I have taught workshops actually with John as well. Um, and half the fun teaching is just a kick. Um, it's just so much fun to watch light bulbs go on and watch people connect. It's just great fun. So we're offering this trip that's an eight day long trip. The entire eight days you'll be within uh, Glacier Bay National Park. And just real simply, the schedule for a lot of the days is always different. It's always based on what we're seeing and what we're doing. But generally, we have time every day to go ashore or there'll be a spot where we want to take pictures from the boat or from our skiff. And then Later in the day, there'll be time where everybody is able to sit around with their uh, laptops and actually work on their pictures. And I think one of the things that one of these two guys said in that trip was that the real beauty of what they call post-processing, dealing with your pictures after the fact, is that you can make your picture look like what you thought you saw when you were standing there pushing the shutter. Boy, That's well, really... That's... Well said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you. you're leading this part of the workshop, right? <laughs> So, so it, and, and what's fun is that we have lots of time to do this. There's lots of time over the eight days to get in all these different aspects of, of how Lightroom software works and how you can use it to process your pictures, but also lots and lots of time where you'll be standing on the beach with your tripod taking pictures of icebergs that have grounded out on the beach or taking pictures of whales that we see as we cruise through Glacier Bay. Yeah, the, the combination of spectacular subject material, both uh, landscape, wildlife, um, the wildlife in, in particular uh, is just spectacular, combined with the immersive nature of having eight days and nights all, it's a very small group, and we're all together on the boat the whole time, 
and it is uh, eating, sleeping, breathing, drinking photography for eight days. Uh, invariably, we've seen people um, at the end of that period having had a transformative experience. It isn't just that they had fun for a week. They did have a lot of fun for a week, but everything uh, uh, concerning the way they perceive the world. I mean, this may be a somewhat of an overstatement, but I think it goes beyond addressing photography per se, uh, more into the realm of perception. And this, the circumstances uh, on these workshops, I just can't imagine how you could set the table better for those kind of changes, long lasting changes. Yeah. Um a comment I wanted to make about the workshop experience, because I've been on both ends of this. I've not only taught workshops, but I've taken many workshops. And my experience, having taken a workshop, is, as John said, you literally eat, drink, and sleep photography the whole time. You're, you're just immersed in it. And a few things, my experience at least, a few things happen. One, um, you are always interacting with other people, whether it be the instructors or the other participants. Um, and you you gather things, you you learn things from everybody, whether they're another participant or one of the instructors, or maybe even Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> we have fun too. Yeah, yeah, we do have fun. Um, but the other thing is, it's a lot of times my experience was not um, when I came away from the workshop. Um, yes, I picked up little tidbits of this and that and learned little tricks and those kinds of things. But um, as John was suggesting, it's sort of a transformative experience. A lot of what I got out of the workshop didn't occur to me or didn't I didn't realize until after the fact. It just would change the way I think about photographs. It would change the way I, I perceive the world. Um, and that's comes from that immersive experience. Um, you know, so often when we're you want to do photography, but you're out in the real world, and oh my God, I, sh I shouldn't be working on these images now. I got to go mow the lawn, and yada yada. You know, all this stuff gets compartmentalized. Where we're on a boat, and there's nowhere else to be except here doing your work. Right. Um, and it's just a wonderful experience. Yeah, and the schedule is uh, you, is made up as we go along, depending on conditions. Uh, we'll be in the middle of a critique when the humpback whales circle the boat and we, we <laughs> stop, jets. stop the critique at once. <laughs> Everybody's on deck. And that's the, the beauty of the the Northwest Navigation experience is it's completely um, responsive to conditions. There is not a uh, sort of a set itinerary uh, which takes precedence over anything else. Everybody is excited, passionate about what's going on, and uh, we adapt accordingly. And speaking of adapting, the other thing I want to, what we did last time prior to the workshop is we sent out a questionnaire to all of the people who had signed up and queried them about what are your interests, what do you want to do, what do you hope to get out of this, and the workshop was tailored around what their interest was and what their needs were. Um, so that part of it is real whatever you want to do. The other thing is we can only take, what, six, eight, eight people, eight people. And there's two of us. These two don't count, but. Uh, <laughs> Until dinner time. Until right? dinner time. Yeah. Then they count a lot. That's, <laughs> particularly Christine. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey, not so much. <laughs> but there's two of us to yeah. as many as, as maximum eight people. So the, the ratio of instructor to participant I mean, is not going to get any better short of actual doing one-on-one. -on -one. So the the whole experience is tailored to whatever your needs are. Um, and that can be as fluid and as whatever, whatever that comes about. It was really fun this past year. In between a couple of the um, times where we were ashore, there was another reason for photography. People were sitting around working on their pictures. And it was great because the because we have this really high instructor to to guest ratio, these guys were around helping him and people would say, oh, can, come look at this picture. Tell me, tell me what should, you know, what should I do here? And, and they'd come by and say, oh, you need to, you know, adjust the, the brilliance. So you need to adjust this. And, and if you look at, at this, it'll make, it'll make these changes. And it was really interesting just watching because there was so much time for that. A lot of one-on-one. -on -one. One-on-one, -on -one, even though it was a group session and other people were getting stuff out of that too. Like, oh, I shot a bunch of pictures around that same grounded out iceberg or of that dark wall with the birds on it. What did you do to make it, you know, the birds stand out or however you, you know, so it, so it worked out really well for everybody having sort of that one-on-one, -on -one, but in the group 
session. Sure. With any art form, it's about personal expression. So it's different for everybody. It's different for everybody who comes on one of these trips. And because of the small size of the group, they don't need to conform to groupthink and therefore water down their own passions. I mean, they can they can plant their flag wherever they want, and we will shine the light there and help them uh, basically realize whatever their particular passionate um, vision is. Yeah, some on this last one that we did, some of the uh, people were way more into the wildlife and really focusing on the pictures of the wildlife. But Glacier Bay is this amazing spot for landscapes too, and also for the kind of uh, pictures that are more abstract, really close up things of of the ice um, sculptures, the ice sculptures, which you don't see in very many places in the world, but also just pictures of the beach and pictures of there were very few alligators. The other thing to mention is the skip. Uh, right, because you know, you take pictures from the boat, and that's beautiful. You take pictures from the land, and that's beautiful. But the skiff is kind of like the secret weapon of this whole enterprise. Mm -hmm. Is they've had this skiff custom made for them, and it's the most stable, comfortable, photographic platform on water that I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. You can you can put eight, but Jeffrey is a master <coughs> at, at navigating the skiff into anywhere. So we go right up to the, the, the walls of the ice and uh, get very close to things that just blow, would blow we your mind. For, I don't know how long watching um, Marjorie. Marjorie Cav. Cav. How yeah. many oh my God, was. that was just phenomenal. Yeah. After yeah. a while, it's like you don't even okay, pay attention to the small ones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's that kind of moments that really make this kind of trip. Yeah, and really valuable. It's it really is what it's worth. It's the the added quality is that we can get. You know, we have this skiff, and we can get into these places that you couldn't in a bigger boat, and you couldn't you couldn't very easily have that kind of platform if you were in a kayak. We right. do we do a bunch of kayaking, but you right. It's but not this the same. Way, you, you can set your gear beside you and move things around and and, and, it's, and not worry about and it. Not, yeah. It's a yeah. million times better to shoot from than a kayak. Oh yeah, yeah. Kayak is <laughs> been there, done yeah, that. Yeah, I've tried exactly. that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Christine, do you want I to think, say something? Yeah, I think the thing that I felt was really amazing about this trip was I like to take a lot of pictures too, so it's really fun to have these guys on because I eavesdrop on everything <laughs> they say. So I, I, I felt like I was taking the course as well. But I found in the fall when it was, you know, when photography season is over for me and as into sitting at the computer and going through these pictures, was having the opportunity to sit and look at all these experiences that I had had and and able to relive them and then yeah draw out the colors a little bit more prop the pictures a bit and then be able to tell that story that was within me and you know put that out there and you know share it with our guests you know either on facebook or through our newsletter or on our website but being really being able to like take that that time that i had you know with them you know, taking pictures and really add that to my sort of life story. I just like, I, I just benefited so much from that. And I was, yeah, I was just chopping vegetables and eavesdropping most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have a couple websites up about uh, the trips. The easiest one to get to is northwestnavigation.com slash Alaska. And that'll end up taking you to the Alaska Photography Workshops page. Um, and that has links to both the trip that we're doing in Glacier Bay and also the trip that we're doing uh, in Tracy Fishing. Arm, Ford's Terror area. That The Glacier Bay trip, uh, the whole trip is within the bay. You actually board at a little town of Gustavus, which is just outside of Glacier Bay, and the trip ends there. Um, but the rest, like as soon as everybody's on board, we'll head in to uh, Glacier Bay. And then the other trip, um... and, and what people don't don't probably understand is that the last week of May, when we're going to be in Glacier Bay, is the best weather uh, typically year in yep. year out. Yeah, people people tend to think that's a little early for that far north, but it's actually the prime time to go. Yep, the um, we'll also be there at a time when uh, puffins do have plumage for getting pictures. That's right. Um, we saw a lot of humpback so. whales, even though it's a little bit earlier than their normal time to be in the bay. Lots of, sea lions. Lots of sea lions. There are orca whales that are 
that are not on any seasonal schedule, so they're in there the whole Brown time. Brown bears. Brown bears. Lots of bears. Brown bears. Moose. Brown bears. Goats. Goats. Yep. Goats. Lots of, yeah, mountain goats. Goose. Yep. And, uh, and then the other trip uh, is in the area that's between uh, Juneau and Petersburg, and it uh, will spend a lot of our time on that trip in the Tracy Arm Ford's Terror Wilderness area. One of the amazing things about that area for us is that we have permits to take people ashore, and it's all wilderness, so you can't have a group size much bigger than what we're able to carry on the David B. And a lot of people go hiking in Alaska, and they go on places that aren't in the wilderness, but we're actually able to take small groups into these spots that only other small groups can go into. So we won't end up going in there and running into 85 people from another tour boat. And um, so then we can do a bunch of hikes. We'll also spend time. Uh, Tracy Arm has these two. Uh, it's it's one long fjord, and then there's another long fjord there called Endicott. And we'll spend time in both of those spots. Uh, there's lots of good glacier action at the ends of them, and it's also just really amazing terrain. And uh, also some time over uh, at the Pack Creek uh, Bear Observatory, and this is really cool. Normally, you don't want to be around many bears <laughs> when they're on the beach. <laughs> but in this particular spot, we're going to go in there with a with a guide who works for another service, and um, it's a spot that bears have been viewed by humans for, for quite a long time, and they're used to humans being on the beach in that little spot. And so we're able to go in there. The guide is going to fly in in a float plane and meet us, and then we're going to go ashore. We actually have time to go ashore in two different spots right there um, in, the, in that bear-observing zoological area. So... That's a huge part of that. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's on Admiralty Island, that, which yeah. I believe has the, the highest, highest concentration of brown bears in, anywhere, in yep. the world. Yeah, yep. I believe so. Yep. Yeah, and we're going to be working with Pack Creek Bear Tours, is uh, who the guide's from. And so we're very excited to work with them with that, too. So. so that's the other trip. Both of those trips are on that page. If you go to northwestnavigation.com slash Alaska, um, you'll end up at the right spot. And do we have any discounts right I'm now? Just gonna oh, tell us about the discount. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's been carefully running the camera here. She's behind our camera here. And uh, she can maybe tell us about the discounts that we're offering. Yeah. Well, I wasn't planning to be on camera, but I can switch out to, you can see me. Hello. So I'm Sarah. I do reservations for Jeffrey and Christine. And, and camera. And camera, apparently. <laughs> um, happy to share with you the discounts that we have for both of these trips. Normally, they're $7,000, but we've got a spring discount going for uh, $5,590 per person. And that's all inclusive. Once you get on the boat, you don't have to worry about anything unless you want to buy a t-shirt maybe or have Christine sign a book. But uh, that's the discount what we have going on. We have four spots on uh, the Pack Creek Bear trip, and we have uh, eight spots on the Glacier Bay trip. And I'm going to turn it back to Christine. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're hoping that uh, you guys will be out there and inspired to come to Glacier Bay with us or do Pack Creek and Tracy Arm. And we really hope to see you guys this, this summer on the, on the David B. Join us. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm going to back out so you can say all yeah. of you. You want to say your final goodbyes? We haven't even discussed Christine's cookies. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> oh my God. The food is awesome. The food on all the trips is oh awesome. Every, every meal. Every meal is, 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 is gourmet. Is, is, you, know, see. you have yeah. no idea. No. Oh my God. So we have a lot of fun. Any final words, guys? No, I think that's it. Join us. Join yes. us. Yes. Have a great We're going to have a lot of fun. You yeah. should come.